Pochettino has left Chelsea Football Club by mutual consent. I'm honestly just shocked and angry more than anything. I think everybody within football is a little bit shocked at this decision. So was this the right decision or not? Let's get into it. Let's be honest, this decision has put us back at square one because all of the progress that Poch made, and you might argue he didn't make that much progress, but we're gonna dive into that a little bit later on. I already had a huge rant about my opinion on this on stream, but I wanted to film this video from a less emotional perspective because obviously when I was on stream, it was when I just found out and I was very angry to say the least. Very angry, very shocked, and I don't think anybody really saw this coming, even though the signs were there. So the position we're currently in is Pochettino has now left. We are going into the summer transfer window with no manager in place. Apparently the players didn't know anything about this, saw this as a shock. They're not gonna know what's happening with the club, who's gonna be managing them next season or for pre-season even. Any transfers we're trying to make, we haven't got a manager in place. There's no stability at the club. So what's next for Chelsea? We're gonna have to bring in yet another manager. We have been through five managers in less than two years. Do you know how ridiculous that is? And this new manager is gonna come in, he's gonna have different tactics, a different style of play, and quite frankly, we're gonna be back at square one again. So all the progress Poch has made this season will kind of be for nothing. Do you know what? I reckon this would have been the right decision had we finished the season the way we had in the first half of the season. If we take a look at just our season from Christmas, so just in 2024, we would be sat in fourth place. That's a Champions League spot. So had we kept that form, had Poch continued on for another season and that form had continued, who's to say we wouldn't have got Champions League next season? Who's to say we couldn't win the league next season? If Pochettino had been given the transfers that he was asking for and been given a little bit of say into the transfer window and got some more experience on the team, which we all know is a huge part of the problem, but the owners don't want to listen to that. Who's to say we couldn't have won the league next season? Yes, okay the start of the season wasn't looking good but you can't deny the second half of our season was a hell of a lot better and the stats show it all the fact we would be sat in fourth place right now if it was just based on 2024 shows that we have improved and shows that we do have the capability to contend for those top spots. The improvement and turnaround we saw from this team was immense. Pochettino was handed a team that was currently in 12th place. We moved up six places from the 12th place we finished the season prior. We had 19 more points, seven more wins, and 39 more goals. You can't tell me there was no improvement there. Now I hear you that our defense was lacking, but it is obvious Poch was building foundations and making small steps in the right direction because for the first half of the season, we were scoring more goals, but we were also conceding an awful lot of goals. And I think everybody could see that our defense was horrendous. But then we began to see improvements in our defense as well towards the end of the season. And it all started to come together. And you could see that this project that the club keeps banging on about was actually starting to come together. I'm not gonna lie, considering the mess the club was in after finishing 12th last season, how many of us were actually expecting us to finish in top six and actually get in Europe, especially at the start of this season? I had given up on Europe completely. I thought there was absolutely no chance. And I think a lot of people were in the same mindset, but to pull it back and get us into that sixth place and most likely get Europa League as long as City beat United, which let's be honest, is probably gonna happen. It's just something that I don't think anybody predicted. We've also had two trips to Wembley. We got into the final of the Carabao Cup. That's more than you can say for last season. Pochettino took this team of youngsters who had very little experience and dealt with what he was given. In fact, Chelsea have improved more than any other side this season compared to last, scoring 19 more points than the 2022-23 season. There was a long way to go, but Chelsea were on the right path and we were heading in the right direction. Now it just feels like we've thrown all of that progress away because a new manager is gonna come in, change things up, and we're gonna be back at square one again. And to top that off, we're likely gonna see players like Gallagher, Shalaba being sold for 100% profit because that's all our owners seem to actually care about. And they aren't bothered about the fact that someone like Gallagher is blue from birth actually wants to play for the badge, has that passion. And again, I hear you, he may not be the most talented player in the world, but he has captained our team for pretty much this entire season. He has played more games than any other player and his work rate is outstanding. You can't tell me otherwise. 
you can see that he has that passion because he actually wants to play for this club, which goes a lot further in my opinion than some player who's paid silly amounts of money just because they have more talent. I just don't see how these owners can say it's a project when we've gone through five managers in less than two years. I don't even understand how this is good business because we've now spent 50.5 mil in payoffs, compensations by getting rid of managers. We've spent stupid amounts buying investments, which doesn't make any sense because yes, these players are good, but they're nowhere near the price tag we paid for them. An investment is someone like Palmer who we bought for a very reasonable price and in less than a season has increased his value by almost double. Not a player who we buy for over 100 mil with a value of realistically far below this and will probably struggle to be sold for that for a very long time. And I get that that's the reason they give them long-term contracts, but it still doesn't make any sense in terms of business. And again, this just proves the owners just have absolutely no clue about football and how to run a club. This also leaves me a little bit worried about whether they're gonna try and sell Palmer because that's gonna be a quick book if we sell him. I do fear that our owners just see this like buying stocks and shares rather than actually running a football club. But going back to Pochettino leaving, I'm just confused more than anything. Because who are they planning on replacing him with? What decent manager is actually gonna wanna come to this club in the state that we're in? And people saying, oh, bring Tuchel back. It's not gonna happen. These are the same owners that got rid of him for a very similar reason as to why Poch has left. They're just looking for a yes man who will just deal with anything that's thrown at them and doesn't care about which players are sold or who comes in. Which just leads me to believe that we're gonna end up with a manager that's so out of their depth. The rumored names circulating around are just embarrassing. We've got the likes of McKenna, who yes, has done a brilliant job getting Ipswich back into the Prem after 22 years. That's incredible. However, that's an entire league below the Premier League. Do we not remember what happened with Graham Potter, who was doing a fantastic job at Brighton when we brought him in? And they're a mid-table Prem team. Yet he was so out of his depth at Chelsea. Ipswich Town and Chelsea are two very, very different clubs. The main being one of them hasn't even been in the Premier League for 22 years. And the other one has won pretty much every title possible. Our other options include Thomas Frank, who manages Brentford, who have just finished 16th in the Premier League. And again, would have no say in transfers because that's the problem. The owners don't want someone who will say anything about transfers. And I don't think Thomas Frank would want that. I think he would want to be involved in that whole process. And again, it seems like a pointless replacement because what's he actually bringing to the table? Then there's company who everyone had such high hopes for this season at Burnley and have just been relegated straight back down to the championship again. Then there's Enzo, the Leicester coach. I just can't help but feel like the owners see managers who are doing well with these lower league teams. And I mean, even when they appoint, back when they appointed Potter, it's like they see they're doing well and think they can come and replicate it at Chelsea. But what they fail to realize is that we're a much bigger club. And all of these young managers have no proven experience at a club like Chelsea. At least Pochettino had worked at clubs like Spurs, PSG. Yes, okay, he might not have the trophies, but he's worked at those bigger clubs and he's known for developing young players, which is what we have, is just a team full of youngsters. He has proven himself over the last half of the season. Those young players have improved. He has such a good relationship with them. And you, we've seen that as he's left because all of these players are shocked or sad or disappointed that he's left. The club just feels like it's falling apart. And everybody's saying, oh, Poch, but Poch got us to 12th place. Are you forgetting that last season we finished in 12th? But not only that, the experienced players from that team were pretty much all sold. We had a bunch of new signings come in who hadn't played together that much, who were bound to have a lack of chemistry at the start anyway, plus the lack of experience because half of them are kids. And then you have the mile long list of injuries, including two of our key signings in Nkunku and Lavia. So to say that Poch put us into 12 is just ridiculous. And what's not helping is these owners just throwing money around like it's nothing. Of course all the clubs are laughing at us because these owners are actual clowns. This is why I honestly think the German ownership model is far better than in the Premier League. I'm sick of it. And these owners have only been in charge for two years and they are already running this club into the ground. How much longer is this same thing gonna go on? And if we hire any of the rumored managers, what's the odds we're gonna be back in the same position next season anyway? Looking for yet another manager. We're just losing any credibility whatsoever and losing any pull for players, managers, because everyone can just see how much of a mess we are. There's no stability at this club. We're a joke. 